Tell us about a crow who became an American general and who participated in the D-Day in 1944. It is Norman Kota, the best American film, Saving Soldier Ryan, was made about him. Croats, as well-known and recognized warriors, also participated in many foreign armies, including the American one. For example, Pater Hersiktomi and Lujo Louis Kukul were awarded the highest American decoration, the Congressional Medal of Honor. But only a few reached the highest ranks, and one of them was Norman Daniel Dutch Kota. Born in 1893 in Chelsea, Massachusetts, to a family of Croatian emigrants, he graduated at West Point Academy and served in the United States Army. Kota was gritty West Point single-star general in his 50s, who spent most of his time with his troops on the field, rather than in a safe office shuffling papers. Although he had every option and every right to essentially retire and live an easy life at headquarters for the remainder of the war, Kota was imbued with a toughness that would last until his dying breath. One time a well-meaning officer even approached him questioning why he took so many risks at such an old age, to which Kota responded, Now look, I was a poor boy from the Pennsylvania Dutch country. I heard about West Point and that it was free, and I went, I made my contract with the government. If they paid for my education I would serve them, part of my contract was to die for my country if necessary, I intend to stick to it. If I get killed then so be it, but I don't expect to be. And the country Kota originates from, Croatia, this kind of attitude is defined in Croat historical motto, for home to battle in 1566, for home in 1876, for home go to the nasty battle in 1892, for homeland sacrifice your life in 1910, for my people, and for home, ready to give your life in 1921, for home ready in 1932, and during the Second World War on the side of Germans and against communists in Serb project homogenous Serbia, and finally for home ready, and faithful to the homeland from 1990 until 1995 in the Croatian Independence War against Project Homogenous Big Serbia. You can find the video about Croatian Independence War on my channel in English. This is the cornerstone of the Croatian state. Let's return to Kota's participation in Second World War. After a successful Allied landing in North Africa in Operation Torch in 1942, Kota was promoted to the rank of Brigadier General. He then took part in the landing at Normandy, where as deputy commander of the 29th Infantry Division he was one of the highest officers on the coast on the first day. In addition to Kota, being tough as nails, a perspective on war and life, in general Kota was no meathead. Either he was well versed in battle strategy, and trained all his men in a way that aimed to indoctrinate them in the sights and crashing sounds of the battle, as well as the confusion of it. All quoting Kota again, the air and naval bombardment and the artillery support are reassuring but you're going to find confusion. The landing craft are going to be on schedule, and people are going to be landed in the wrong place, some won't be landed at all. The enemy will try, and have some success, in preventing our gaining a lodgment, but we must improvise, carry on and not lose our heads, nor must we add to the confusion proving his aptitude for war and strategy. When on June 6, 1944 the Allies finally started landing on the beaches around Normandy, everything he had said had come true. Omaha was in absolute chaos, there was noise confusion, whole units landed in the wrong places, others still far from shore, and just about everybody was pinned down by murderous German machine gun fire. The men of the 29th Infantry Division who were still able to walk or sprinted to the base of a low sea wall 150 yards beyond the water's edge, as you would expect, they were stunned, not one of them expected the ferocity of the German resistance that day. And because of this the invasion had essentially come to a standstill, and the Americans were locked in a stalemate. Kota was one of the men who had survived the initial landings, even when the man standing just to the right of him, Major John Soares, was hit by machine gun fire and killed on the spot. He didn't have time to mourn anything or anyone, and Kota tunnel visioned on getting his paralyzed men moving, and off the bloodstained beach. So, Omaha Beach was an absolute nightmare to take for the Allies. It was extremely well defended by many motivated German troops, and as a result the surviving Americans were forced into a stalemate that no one dared to try and break. The Brigadier General Norman Dutch Kota stepped into the scene. On Omaha Beach, he encouraged shock soldiers and his command of the Battalion of the American Special Forces, Rangers Lead the Way, which was remembered and became their motto. He is also known for the statement, Gentlemen, we are being killed on the beaches, let us go inland and be killed. As D-Day anywhere allying the men specialists armed with Bangalore torpedoes eventually blew up vital gaps in the thick, 
barbed wire just beyond the seawall and American soldiers began a slow crawl upward as they advanced the steep hillside on their way to completely neutralize the German defensive positions. Koton now alongside both the 5th U.S. Ranger Division as well as the 29th Infantry Division helped to forge the path upwards to the German positions after he got another specialist to blow a gap in the wire closer to the Germans' disaster struck and the first brave man who ran through the gap was cut down by machine gun fire and was sobbing for a medic and his mama. This had a profound effect on the men and they were once again paralyzed. Koda realizing this, decided to show them it could be done, he then leaped up and dashed across the road, and through the gap that was made he found cover, and shouted for others to follow. A few other brave souls did exactly that, and when they weren't hurt, a snowball effect occurred, and it convinced dozens more to try it. Soon Koda had a sizable group of men that were the first to break out of the deadly beachhead. They traversed through a mine-ridden field losing several men in the process, but they eventually made it to the French village of Viaville, and took it by themselves as more and more men streamed through the initial gaps made by Kota and his first men out. They saw Kota in the town's main street twirling his pistol, and his index finger like an old west cowboy. He then looked at all the newcomers saying, where the hell are you being boys? Kota however wasn't through with his heroics for the day, and he proceeded to take a German position with only six other men who took it from the rear. The very next day, on June 7, after a daunting battle on Omaha Beach, Kota happened upon a group of infantry pinned down by German gunfire. The men were firing behind stone walls, and the Germans were firing from a house. He asked the captain why they weren't taking the house. Sir, the Germans are in there, shooting at us, he replied. Well, I'll tell you what captain, said Kota, grabbing grenades from his jacket. You and your man start shooting at them. Watch carefully. I'll show you how to take a house with Germans in it. He then lead a squad up to the house and tossed grenades into the windows, yelling like a madman. He then sprinted throughout the door as the last few Germans in the house fled for their life out the back. General Kota strutted back to the captain and said, You've seen how to take a house. Do you understand? Do you know how to do it now? The captain replied, Yes, sir. Well, I won't be around to do it for you again. Kota said, I can't do it for everybody. Nonetheless Kota did indeed continue kicking doors down and screaming whilst throwing grenades, and typically he entered a war zone close behind the head of a column, which was not something often seen by a man of his rank. Eventually Kota took a piece of shrapnel to the arm, and was annoyed to be taken out of the fight for a mere week by the end of the month. However due to his heroic acts on the battlefield, he was given command of his own infantry division, that division being the 28th, and on August 29, 1944, he marched tall in the Champs-Élysées of Paris, having helped liberate the iconic city from Nazi subjugation. He later took part in the bloody Battle of the Ardennes. When the Germans surprised the Allies in a surprise military attack, Cotin's unit came under direct attack. Despite heavy losses and bitter battles, his unit managed to slow down and ultimately stop the German breakthrough. Apart from his warrior skills, Kota was remembered for awarding the last death sentence to an American soldier in history. Although such a verdict has not been handed down since the American Civil War, Kota upheld the death sentence by shooting soldier Eddie Slavic for desertion. The character of the American general of Croatian origin Kot has been screened on several occasions, for example in the film The Longest Day, played by Robert Charles Derman Mitchum. Croats had two armies in the Second World War. One of them fought for Croatian state on the German side, but who hoped that Allies forces makes an invasion on Adriatic Sea and save Croatia from communism. Other Croatian army fought for communist Croatia within communist Yugoslavia, who was ready to fight along with Germans against potential invasion of Allies on the Adriatic Sea. Communist Croatia and Communist Yugoslavia won in the Second World War. Since Norman Kota fought for democracy, and since during the Croatian Independence War Croatia overthrew communism and Croatian new constitution, nowadays Croatia is in line with the Western democratic values for which Norman Kota fought. You can see more videos in English on this playlist. You can get familiar about Croat that refused to bomb Venice from 20th century, gave Napoleon in 19th century, Croat that founded Russian Navy in 17th century, Croats that frozen to death during the defense of the fortress against Ottomans in 16th century, Croat that saved Europe from Ottoman invasion in 16th century, Croat women that defended the forders from Austria in 16th century, Croat that invented Google in 15th century, Croat incunabula from 14th century.